Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. This is the next video in my series of MCM system tutorials and if you haven't seen the previous ones then I strongly recommend that you go and see those first otherwise a lot of this really isn't going to make a lot of sense. Now what we're going to be doing in this video is taking what we did in the last which was getting a nice basic layout of our MCM and we are going to make those options in the menu actually do things. So the main thing that they're going to be doing is just enabling and disabling things and toggling options in the mod itself and then a few things in the test cell are going to represent those changes. So let's get started. Okay so what I've done is what I usually do in these tutorials which is set up a test cell which is going to show what we need. So I've got a nice little fire here in the middle, I've got a button over there and I've got some crates in the corner and everything is linked up with X markers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a two page setup. The first page is going to be for the cell design which is going to allow you to get rid of the crates or have them placed there. By default they're going to be there. And it's also going to allow you to turn the lighting on and off which is linked to this lighting marker here. So as you can see you've got the lights there, you've got the sconce light and then this is set to opposite so when the lights are off you're just going to see that the sconces aren't lit. So just alt and one show them again. And that button over there will allow us to just test if the setting is set correctly for tutorials. So I'm going to have a setting for tutorials on or off on the second page called settings. Now what you want to make sure of is that you've got a global variable for that. And in this case I've set it to one because I want my tutorials on by default. So whatever you set here true or false which is zero and one that's represented as you want to make sure that this matches your MCM otherwise when you turn the toggle off it's actually going to be opposite it's going to be turning them on and vice versa so if it's going to be on by default have this as one if it's going to be off by default have it as zero and get it set the same in the MCM we'll see that shortly so that's pretty much what I'm going to be setting up there okay so I've gone ahead and loaded up the quest that we worked on last time and I'm just going to edit the source of the script and like I said in the previous video this is where most of our work is going to take place now this is the script that we had last time and I'm going to be making some changes to it so I've already got that available and ready so I'm just going to paste it over the top and don't worry yes there is a lot here and it's going to get a lot longer and a lot worse than this depending on how much you're doing with your mod but it's really really simple it might look confusing but it really isn't if you keep track of it all and you'll find that when you look at somebody else's script it looks like a complete confusing mess but when you look at something that you end up making yourself it makes perfect sense because you made it so don't worry about it this is just going to be teaching you the basics this is really simple it's not that bad i'll guide you through each step so Right at the top, as any other script, we're going to have the things that we're going to be managing here. So I've got my global variable for my tutorial setting, which was what I showed you on the left there. I've got object references, two of them, one for the crates and one for the lights. Dead simple. Now I'm putting these dividers in just to separate things nice and easily so you can read things and keep track of everything. Toggle states. Basically what we need is a ball that is going to be flicked on and off that determines what state our setting is currently in. So you've got true or false. Now... I've got ball crates val here so this is for the the setting that'll be for the crates and by default this is true this is on so the crates are going to be there so I'll also want to make sure that my x marker matches up with this so they're not initially disabled they're actually going to be there then I've got my lighting value by default that's off so I've actually got these lighting set up off and I've got initially disabled so that'll be more like that when we go into the cell and then I have my setting for my tutorials that by default is true remember what i said about setting the value to one it needs to be true in here if that's the case so that's also going to match up now i've got another divider here and you've got what is called option ids this is how the mcm system is going to determine what id you are currently changing what option you are currently changing what it needs to toggle and what it needs to set so all we have to do is have one for each of these toggle options so I've got int i crates, int i lights, int i tut. Now you might find that if you are referring back to the MCM quick start guide, it changes the name of these IDs to OID and it puts it on the end. Truth is you can really kind of call these exactly what you want really as long as everything refers to each other correctly and everything's set right. This is what I like to do. I like to put i for int so I know it's an integer and then I tend to put val for values which are those up there. So these are the values. So don't worry about that, just make sure everything matches. It'll make more sense the more you mess around with it. 
I got another divider. I've got what I had last time, and because I've changed the script, because I've changed the name of the actual pages, I've got to make sure that these match. So page equals cell design. It needs to be cell design there. So if I'd have left this, what I had in the last tutorials, page one and two, and then gone and done all this, you'll find there'll be absolutely nothing in the menu. So I've got to make sure that's set right. Uh, yet again, like I mentioned in the last tutorial, there will be a tutorial dedicated to this section here. So don't worry about that. It doesn't matter for now. And then I've got another divider. So now I've got if page is cell design and I've changed the layout a little bit and I've added my toggle options. Now last time the toggle options were there like that. This time I've added something. So this is to make sure I know exactly what I'm changing and change the values. So I've got I crates which matches up to my integer values up here. So that's my, my IDs for them. So it basically says I crates equals add the toggle option crates and crates val which is the ball to flick it on and off so that matches with that so everything just matches up make sure it all matches it's all named correctly and you're good to go and then obviously there i've got the the names which is crates and lights that's the name of the actual toggles that's what will come up in the menu for crates and lights with the toggle value nice and simple otherwise settings i've gone top to bottom here these are going to go left to right so you have crates on the left lights on the right of the options and then if i added more they keep going left to right like I explained in the previous tutorial now I've got settings here, I've got set fill mode, top to bottom, so this time it's just going to go downwards, but I've only got one option anyway for now, and this is going to be a bit different, this is going to be the toggle option for the two tutorials, again matches up with tut val and itut, simple, really really simple. Now we've got a divider, and this is a brand new event that we haven't seen before, this is on option select, so this is for toggle basically. Now this means as soon as you activate it, which you'll notice in the last tutorial I was clicking on it, nothing happened. This is where we're going to actually make things happen. This is the purpose of this tutorial. So on option select, you basically check what page you're on. If you're on cell design page, then it's going to go along and it's going to check what option you're currently clicking on. So if the option equals I crates, so basically if we're hitting the crates option, it's going to do these two things here. Now this is just making sure that it's updating the values and the current toggle state as you click on it. So when you click on it, it's automatically just going to go, okay, if I'm on, I'm off. If I'm off, I'm on. And these here are just going to make sure that it changes the values accordingly so everything matches up and it's fine. So just make sure that you change these to the names of your own options that you are changing so it's just crates val equals crates val set toggle option value i crates crates val so it's just matching everything up basically and updating things now we've got if df127 now this is going to change depending on what you're doing now in this case i'm just enabling some crates or i'm disabling some crates so i'm checking if they're enabled if they're enabled i'm going to disable them otherwise i'm going to be enabling them and as long as all this is set up correctly, this will just automatically be set right anyway. It'll all work together quite nicely. Now I've got else if options I light. So I've got lights val. Same again, just updating it, making sure things match. And I've got DF127 lights enabled, disable them, otherwise enable them. Really simple, just, just performing the action basically. Now I've got else if current page is settings. So we're going on to the settings page now, leaving that one behind. If option equals itut, so if it's the tutorial option, then again, it's going to make sure everything's updated, matches fine. And you've got if df127g tut got get value equals zero, then set it to one. And like I said, as long as it's set correctly, everything's matching true to true, one to one, you know, as long as it's set to one in here and it's set to true by default in here, like I mentioned earlier, you're all good to go and it'll just set it to one or it's set to zero. Nice and simple. And just make sure all of your else if sure your if statements are all matched up aligned nicely if you really want i'll be leaving this in the description below a, a link to go and download this from my resource page on my website so that you can pretty much take this as a template and use it for yourself and like i mentioned in the last tutorial they do actually provide examples uh, that you can go and look at anyway in the files that you download in the first video we did so that's good now we're just gonna oh, hold on might want to save that that should compile fine without any problems there we go and just save that come back out now you want to go into properties obviously i want these auto filled otherwise not a lot's going to happen still got my mod name there i'm going to keep that the same like i said as well in the previous tutorial pages always just leave that because i like to do it manually as i have in there it's much much nicer easy to keep track of click ok on there 
Now, just to check on the status of the tutorials to make sure when I change it in the MCM, it's actually doing it. I've just added myself a normal button here, added a script onto it, my own little script that I've written. Really, really simple. It just basically checks what value it's on and gives you a message appropriate to it. So when we turn tutorials off, this should come up with a message when we press it saying they're off and vice versa. And that will confirm that our MCM is doing what we want. I'll also provide this script, although it's it's nothing fancy. It does just help to test things out when it comes to like values being changed and such. So what we'll do now is hop in game and see our MCM system working. Okay, so here we are in game again. I'm going to go to the mod configuration, a test MCM, go to cell design. I've got my crates on the left, lights on the right, like I said. I've got settings, tutorials, and because I've got everything set up correctly, make sure it knows what the toggle needs to be on by default. And when I toggle it, it will change. And come back out of the menu when you change something. Crates have disappeared from the corner. If we go back in, and I'm just going to toggle those back. And then I'm going to turn the lights on as well because it's a bit dark. And the lighting comes on, the crates come back. Now I'm going to go back into the options menu again. Test MCM. Go to my settings, tutorials, click on that. That's deactivated. Come back in, activate the button, tutorials are off. And if I turn those back on, it'll change. Now another thing just to note, and you'll see on screen about now, is you can add an extra line for when you activate something that just brings up a nice little message box saying that you've changed something just to confirm. Because that seems a bit weird that you just tick that. It doesn't feel like anything's happening. So it's nice to have a little sort of confirmation that something's been changed so let's turn tutorials back on there tutorials are turned on and it's as simple as that and that is it for this tutorial video so i hope you found it useful please let me know in the comments section below and in the next video we are going to be covering how to have a randomized image on your mcm which is the one thing that i've mentioned in this video and the last that we wouldn't be covering so we're going to get that out of the way so that you can have a nice looking mcm as soon as you load it up in the system so for the rest of my work please be sure to go and check out my website www.darkfox127.co.uk you can also check me out on social media facebook's where i post most of my stuff and you can also follow my steam group where you'll get instant notifications of when i start streaming if that's the kind of thing that you're interested in also hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you next time.